Hi folks and welcome back to another fly fishing video. You join me on the Orvis beat of the River Itchen. Today I'll be joined by Adam Sinclair who's recently left the armed forces and set up his own guiding business. So we'll be finding out all about that and we'll be doing some fishing. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here we are, we've tackled up already and we're just having a hot drink before we hit the river. But before we do that, I want to introduce you to Adam Sinclair. Now, Adam's just finished a 26 year career in the army. And um, obviously when you retire from the army, you can't go on forever, Adam, can you? <laughs> no. So what's the plan for the future? So the, the plan for me, um, I've set up my own guiding outfit, uh, a one man band called Hatch Fly Fishing, based in the Wiltshire, Hampshire, Berkshire area. Yeah, um, and I'll put links to the website. You've got a website, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, got a website, yeah. Links to the website in the comments section, folks. Yeah, uh, I'm just keen to get people out fishing, enjoy a day out, not only for the physical benefits, but the, the mental benefits of, of what fishing can bring, that wellness and well-being. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's uh, the, There's quite a lot of military charities linked yeah. to the... Uh, the fishing side of things to help her heels yeah. do something. Yeah, Ted with House. We've got strong ties with with Ted with House, um, and I dedicate some of my time to taking wounded veterans and servicemen out on the water, just for that mindfulness and that whole forgetting everything yeah. that's going on. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. And of course, you know, you you don't guide to for fun. You do, you're going to be doing it for a living, so yeah. you, you're obviously got to charge appropriate prices. And being based in the south of England, chalk stream fishing. It's not for the faint of heart when it comes to the wallet, is it? No, so, that's uh, right, yeah. But if you're paying that kind of money to come and fish a chalk stream, you don't want to spend your day scrabbling up and down the banks wondering where the fish are. Uh, I would always advise you to hire a proficient guide that can get you on the fish quickly, especially if you're limited with time. Now, we're on the itching today and we're going to be targeting grayling and you said perhaps some pike fishing later, Adam. Yeah, so we've brought the pike gear along. Um, there's a few spots further up the river system, um, nice deep slow runs, um, rumour has it there's some 25 pound plus pike wow. loitering, um, so yeah, why yeah. not? Yeah. Well it's, and the beauty of the etching, so why we've come here, originally we planned to fish the services dry fly water on the Avon, which I'm a great fan of, but we've had so much rain recently, uh, you reckon it's blown out and yeah. won't be fishable? Yeah, drove past it yesterday, just did a quick recce, just to, just to see what the river was looking like, and it, it wasn't pretty. No. Um, but we've arrived today, the sun's shining, the river's yeah. crystal clear. It's, it's um, unbelievable really, just down the road, we've got the river itching here, and it is, as Adam says, it's crystal clear. We're going to um, give it a go, we'll see how we get on with the grayling. What have you tackled up with Adam to start? I've gone out with a single dry fly to begin with. Oh, okay, yeah, nice, nice long leader, I've gone for a 15 foot leader tiny little size 20 f fly and what rod and line are you using today uh, i'm using an eight foot six free weight right yeah and uh, well i've decided to go with the bugging rod uh, a bit of a heathen uh, i'm using a 10 foot rod for a three weight and i'm going to be using double bug and we'll see how we get on but the sun's out and i have seen some flies fluttering off so it'll be interesting adam's probably going to kick my ass but we'll see how we go
you're enjoying the videos, please do leave the video a like. And if you enjoy the content I'm creating, please subscribe to the channel. It's very much appreciated. Well, we've got off to a great start to the morning. Uh, Adam started with a duo, I started with the double nymphs. Now, Adam picked up a fish fairly quickly, targeting a riser under the tree. But um, for numbers, the, the double nymphs definitely worked out a little bit better. I think um, I'm fishing very small, so size 20 and size 18 nymphs. And I'm just looking for any twitch in my indication. And I'm picking up small fish between 20 and 25 centimetres. There are plenty of grayling in the river, but they're proving really difficult to catch in this crystal clear water. So Adam switched over to his pike gear and we're going to see if we can tempt a crock or two. Well, what can I say? It's only three o'clock in the afternoon, but the clouds were coming over and I was a bit concerned there wouldn't be enough light left to finish the video off, Adam. So we've called it a day early. So what happened after lunch? As I said earlier, we had quite a bit of a uh, trauma really in the morning. It was, it, it fished really difficult. And the frustrating thing, Adam, is that you can see the fish in the river. Oh, plenty, plenty so of you fish. you know they're there and yeah. uh, grayling are usually quite obliging uh, fish to fish for and um, we just really struggled you know we picked up ones and twos but no great numbers really but after lunch we both went out uh, renewed vigor uh, <laughs> a hot drink and a sandwich and uh, I left the cameras kind of left the cameras behind and uh, concentrated on catching fish so I went to delicate duo and what did you what did you do Adam I, I carried on on the duo yeah. um, single nymph under the point hair's ear um prospecting away you'd found fish on a nice little gravel yeah. run so planted your feet stayed where you were yeah, i went right. off and and went on a bit of an adventure further upstream to no avail yeah <laughs> i think uh, one thing I, i've fished for grayling for a lot of years and what i've found is that when it's difficult if you see a shoal staying really still and changing your flies regularly will generally get you one or two fish. I managed uh, four or five out of that one spot. And then towards the end of the day, Adam, you said, let's go down to the bottom yeah. of the beat. The cloud cover started coming off. I thought it was going to rain, actually. It looked like it was a way to pour down with rain. And uh, you, you hit into a shoal of fish, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, plenty of fish. I think with the sun behind the cloud, we had no line glare. Yeah. There had no shadows being cast across the river and we were able again just to plant our feet. I was fishing a tiny, tiny little pig doglet, little pink nymph um, under the duo and I think six fish on the yeah. bounce. Um, and, they were, and they were good size yeah, as well, good size. Uh, yeah. small fish but you know people go on about fishing chalk streams and uh, it, it's great you know you can see in the water, you can see your quarry but the downside to that is they can see you. So you, stealth's really important, being still. And where there's little flow, try not to create that bow wave yeah, when yeah, you're yeah. wading because that just puts them off. It might not spook them completely and you think, oh, I've not spooked the fish, but you can put whatever flies you like past them and they just won't yeah, take it. Not interested. It? Yeah, and those ones we found down there in that faster water, yeah. knee depth water, able to just and get a bit the fly faster but... ripple is yeah. it's covering you moving yes absolutely which, which makes all the difference yeah. but um it's been a fantastic day adam i've yeah. really enjoyed it and uh it's been a long time since i've fished the orvis beat of the yeah. itchin and it's a really picturesque part of the river they've got a little hut here you can have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee which is great on these cold mornings and, and we've had a ball haven't we yeah it's a lovely wild fishery we can't yeah. ask for much more